it's been a, a long week, uh, folks. It's really, I, I'm in a giddy, uh, which is when my boundaries are down, kind of state of mind here, a mood where everything is funny to me. Even this, this Republican tax plan, I've had more time to look into this. And there are parts of this thing, folks, are so frustrating. It's just so damn frustrating. It's just out of this mind frustrating. We run the House. We run the Senate. We have the White House. And still, it's, it's like we have a bunch of Republicans who, who don't even have the courage to be conservative. They're not, they don't, they, even they've lost their conservative ideas because they're playing the same old game that the Democrats love to play, class envy, they're making a big deal out of taxing the rich. They're holding on to the children's health program. Remember CHIPS? The CHIPS program was was a program devised by Obama, a supplementary to Obamacare. And I'll never forget it because it was paid for with the sales tax revenue from the sale of cigarettes and other tobacco products, which prompted me at the time to suggest that we need to give smokers a medal, that we need to start treating smokers as heroes, and we need to encourage them to keep it up because they are paying for this new children's health program. Well, anyway, it ought to die. It ought to go away. What with the effort now to repeal Obamacare and downsize it, but it's not. It's not going to go away. It, it is a program that was designed to fix a shortfall. There's something that happened, and there wasn't enough health insurance for poor kids, so the CHIPS program came along and addressed the problem. It didn't work, and so now we're adding another addendum to it or keeping this program alive when it hasn't justified itself. It's an, it's an abject failure. It ought to just be punted. It, it, we have the power to do this. Mm -hmm.